Good morning and welcome to another episode in my one mile challenge. I'm here at the university in Unse. The university is closed but this lovely track is not. So I'm here. Oh. So I'm here today to do a challenge and that challenge is made by Nick Simmons the two-time Olympian 800 meter runner he does a one mile prediction workout and that's a 400 meter workout intervals eight of them 60 seconds in between so what he does is that he takes the average time of all the laps and then multiplies it by four by doing it that way he can figure out approximately his one mile pace in this condition so I did a 604 and I'm pretty sure I will do better in the estimation workout today. So I'm just gonna start warming up and then after that I'm gonna try this out. I just warmed up and I'm ready to start my interval session. So there's actually a lot of people coming here now, but I'm gonna try to find a spot where I can talk. Ready to start? I'm here at the starting line. Let's go. Okay, a little bit too hard on the first one. I did it at 112, so 72 seconds. Might be a little bit too hard. Great start though. Good, good, good start. Good. One fourteen, one thirteen point eight. Might still be a little bit too fast. I think that's better. Seventy six, one sixteen. Getting harder. Another 116, 76. Good. Oh. Halfway. So that's good. It's getting hard now. One seventeen point eight. It's getting slower. Not good. One seventeen point five. So staying here, same level as last one. Two more to go. 
Nick, he said that I'm supposed to do the two last ones as fast as I can. But I'm, I'm doing that already. Uh, so it's, oh. One seventeen point five. So, Okay, uh, I'm getting closer to being able to talk again. The last one was really bad, 119.5. Nick Simmons says that if you're done with this workout, it should be like if you ran a one mile all out. And I feel like I am. Uh, I'll take a little break, uh, recover a little bit, figure out how my prediction time will be and I'll come back. Apparently I didn't record this at the track, so I have to do it here instead after editing the video, seeing that I didn't have the footage. My average time was 76.3, and if you multiply it by four, divide it by the many laps that it was, that means that I have a 505 estimated mile pace. And that's one minute faster than I did a week ago and I think my run a week ago was actually really bad and I don't think I warmed up properly I think it was a track that was gravel a little bit hilly so there might be some things I can improve on in that department but I also think that this estimation was a little bit uh, too positive for me um, so I think it's somewhere in between so my goal, I've decided, is to do a 5.30 as the part goal and then do a 5.15 mile. And there's three ways of training that's gonna make me fast enough to do that. And that's one, long, long mileage, a continuous amount of training, and just keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And then number two, intervals and intervals that are faster than my one mile run so today was a great example and then number three i'm gonna have some long runs but because of covid19 and what i've decided for me is that i'm not gonna run too long i'm still gonna keep inside of the hour but i'm gonna do the almost like 12 kilometers one hour training sessions once a week so that's my plan. 5.30 is the first goal. Apparently I'm supposed to do 5.05 right now, but I don't think that's true. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, write to me in the comments down below. If you like nerdy shoe videos like this, then consider subscribing. Anyways, have a great day. Have a fantastic run. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.